to the roof. In January of 2007, Apple introduced the world to the iPhone. Since that time, around 60 million iPhones have been sold worldwide. The iPod Touch has also sold tens of millions, and the recent release of the iPad has sold over 3 million units in just four months. What is it about these devices that have made them so popular? Why will people wait in lines for hours and pay hundreds of dollars over retail? Is it the touch? And no, I don't mean the Apple Touch. I mean the ability to touch the screen. What was once a hands-off device has become the center of how we interact with it. In the mind of the user, we get to interface directly with the device rather than using buttons to do so. It is connection of user to device that makes all the difference. There is within this concept of touch an application to our faith walk. Jesus walked and talked with his followers, but there are these stories where he applied his holy touch to those in need. Take the story of the leper found in the book of Mark. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Filled with compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was cured. Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning. See that you don't tell anyone about this. But go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet the people still came to him from everywhere. Why did Jesus have to touch the leper? Could he not have stood at a distance and said, You are healed, now be gone and keep quiet. No, that was not the way of Jesus at all. Lepers were not touched by others. They were cast out of society to live out the rest of their lives without touch or contact with the rest of society. They would sometimes live in camps together, but they were not to touch each other. Imagine how that first touch must have felt to the man. Moreover, imagine being able to directly interface with the Son of God. Not at a distance the way the religious leaders of the day held the lepers and most of the Jewish community in general at a distance, but a direct interface. Today we have opportunities around us to introduce people to a relationship with Jesus the Christ. We can hold them at a distance with our judgment. We can tie our sense of justice directly to our deployment of mercy and judge those that we feel have chosen to walk far from God. We can allow these things to get in our way, or we can encourage the kind of interface that we find on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad, where the person in front of us gets to see our heart and our love for our Lord and for them at the same time, thus allowing us to take on the role of something that resembles that piece of glass on an iPhone, an interface that serves to provide a connecting point to the Jesus that lives in our hearts. So the question is, how can you touch those around you for the sake of Jesus? Thank you for joining me on the